The rupee today hit a record low of 83.3 per dollar in intraday trade before recovering marginally to 82.75 per dollar. The currency has lost over 11% of its value in just a year. The impact more import prices and higher foreign travel and education costs. Saving the rupee has cost India its forex reserves. The Reserve Bank of India has sold 100 billion dollars of forex reserves to increase dollar supply in the economy. This aimed to bring down the dollar's rate. As a result, our forex reserves have gone down 15% this year, but rupee still fell 11%. Hello everyone, on 19th of October 2022, the Indian rupee plunged 61 paise to decline below the 83 mark for the first time against the US dollar. Since January this year, the Indian rupee has declined almost 12%. This made the Indian rupee one of the biggest losers in the emerging market currencies. It is not the problem of our economy alone, but many countries like Japan, Germany, France and Spain are also in big trouble because of their falling currencies. Look at the image on the screen. Our Indian rupee has not fallen too much as compared to other currencies. But still the question over here is, what makes our currency weak against the dollar? Now let's understand why is Indian rupee falling. Basically the value of Indian rupee to the US dollar works on a demand and supply basis. If there is a high demand for the US dollar, the value of Indian rupee depreciates and vice versa. There are basically three factors which are the major reasons behind the falling of rupee. Number one is import and export. Dollar is mainly the foreign exchange currency. So when other countries want to export and import with another country, then they need dollars to settle the transaction. After all, when a country imports are more than their exports, then they need more dollars to settle the transaction. This mainly leads towards high demand for dollar and it gives the dollar more strength whereby their own currency would fall. Number 2 is Foreign Fund Outflow Foreign fund plays a major role in this case. The FII's or Foreign Institutional Investors If you don't have any idea about Foreign Institutional Investors, then I am giving the short description about FII's. Foreign Institutional Investors are those investors who comes from foreign countries like US and UK to invest their money in Indian companies through stock exchanges. Now. You have a question in your mind that why do they came here to invest rather than to invest in the companies which are in their nation. So the answer is, if you see the countries like USA then it is a developed country. So the growth of the country and businesses would be very slow. That's why the foreign institutional investors invest in our companies because our country is a developing country and the growth of our business would be more faster than USA. Besides, there have been heavy foreign fund outflows from the domestic markets as the foreign institutional investors have sold shares worth $28.4 billion so far this year. As money flows out of India, the rupee dollar exchange rates get impacted and the rupee depreciates. Meanwhile, the US Federal Reserve recently increased the interest rates and the return on dollar assets increased compared with those of emerging markets such as India. Number 3 is Crude oil. In the decline of the Indian rupee, crude oil plays a vital role. As India depends heavily on the crude oil imports to meet over 80% of its energy requirements. Whenever oil prices see an uptick, it tends to pressurize the rupee as India's import bills soar over higher crude prices. If oil prices are rising, it means imports are rising continuously. This pushes up the demand for the US dollar, which then strengthens the dollar against the rupee. For example, if India imports 10 barrel of crude oil per month, suppose the price of an oil barrel is $60, so in that month, India would have to pay $600, but in that next month, when the price of an oil barrel upstick to $100, then India would have to pay $1000 for the same 10 barrels of oil. So you can see in this case, if the prices of an oil barrel increased by $40, then India would have to pay $400 more for that same quantity of oils. And this pushes up the demand for the US dollar, which will give the strength to the dollar. Now we will understand what is the impact of weak rupee on our economy and also on our daily life. Since India mostly depends on imports, 
including crude oil, metals, electronics and so on. The country makes payments in US dollar. Now, if the rupee is weak, it has to pay more for the same quantity of items. In such cases, the cost of raw materials and production goes up, which gets passed on to the consumers. On the other hand, a weakening domestic currency boosts export as shipments gets more competitive and foreign buyers gain more purchasing power. However, in the current scenario of weak global demand and persistent volatility, exporters are not supportive because of the currency fall. This brings me to the conclusion part of the video. We can't say whether rupee will fall more or not, but some professionals are saying that rupee will move to 85. RBI's Deputy Governor Michael D. Patra said, we will stand for its stability and we are doing it. We are there in the market and we will not allow disorderly movement of the rupee. We have no level in mind, but we will not allow jerky movement. As I said you earlier, we are in a good position against the dollar as compared to other countries. Thank you so much for giving us your valuable time and watching our video till the end.